A partnership between a local hospital and local colleges is giving students hands-on experience with very lifelike patients. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Jen Hatcher has this month's Second Sunday Health Report. I am having trouble catching my breath. Renee Schneider is the voice behind this sick mannequin. Is that all right? It's a little high. Schneider is a coordinator for the Center of Excellence in Clinical Simulation, a partnership between Bryan College of Health Sciences, Bryan Medical Center, and Southeast Community College. The center gives students hands-on training with these nine human-like mannequins. It's gonna take your glasses off. It'll be a little more comfortable. To be able to put together what you've read about in a textbook or listened to on a video or heard in lecture with real interaction with a patient here at the Sim Center is huge. Nearly 20,000 healthcare professionals have received this hands-on training since the facility opened on the Bryan West campus five years ago. It's just really helpful to kind of bridge that gap between the theory part of the classroom work. Jake McCain is a junior hoping to work in the intensive care unit. He spent every semester working with the mannequins in all types of situations, like heart attacks, kidney failure, birth, and even death. And just having that feeling of your patient passing away, it was a very real experience. I've never worked with a patient that passed away before, and so that's an experience that I'll know how to hopefully handle. The mannequins cost anywhere from forty to $90,000 a piece, and the realistic scenarios used on them are picked by faculty members. It's a very big investment, and we're really investing in our nursing students um, and all their health care students, um, and really the investment is going towards our patients, and that's really what um, we're all about. The student-patient interactions are recorded and reviewed so students learn from what they did or didn't do well and take the skills into the workforce. Thank you. Bye-bye. Reporting in Lincoln, Jen Hatcher, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.